Hey folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Uh, it's such a nice day. I decided to take Boston out, hello mate, uh, for a little walk. I've actually just made some strawberry and blueberry pots and they taste absolutely out of this world. If you wanna have a go at making them, hit pause on the video now, write these ingredients down. This is how you do it. So, so stonking, you're gonna love it. Right then folks, so the first step couldn't be simpler. It's basically picking your fruit of choice. So I went for uh, strawberries and blueberries. Whatever you do pick, whack them in a bowl, uh, nice bite-sized pieces, add in about a tablespoon of sugar, mix it together and then plonk it to one side. Pretty simple darn step, right? Right, Boston? Yeah. He does kind of agree. So next up, we're making the uh, base uh, for the dessert. I went for some ginger nuts, uh, so they're really nice, tangy ginger flavor. Put that into a blender with uh, some melted butter, just whizzed it all up to it's nice, fine breadcrumbs. But you could use Oreos, you could use pretzels, whatever you like, really. Just get them all done and then leave it to one side. Easy peasy, easy peasy. All right, so uh, last final steppy thing is making the filling -y bit. So what you wanna do is get a big bowl uh, with some cream cheese in it and then dump in the rest of your sugar. Get that all in there and then add some vanilla extract. You don't have to use vanilla extract, you could leave it as it is or use orange extract, something cool like that. Give it a good old mix together until it's nice and smooth and creamy. And speaking of cream, you want to add in two big old spoonfuls of whipped cream, mix that all two together and it's basically just time to build it. Good times. And so to finish it, all you need to do is get yourself a good old glass, uh, shove down some of that biscuit for a nice base, press it all down so it's nice and evenly, and then get your first layer of that creamy topping on there. It's looking so, so good. Those colors are looking awesome already. Then follow up by adding in your fruit. Remember any fruit you want to add in there. So I did strawberries and blueberries. So, so good. Follow up with some more cream on top, and then you want to finish it with a nice sprig of mint and any of those ginger biscuits that you've got left over. I hope you'll agree. It's looking absolutely amazing. I had pretty much all of it within about 30 seconds. It makes 20 minutes to make in total from scratch. No need to put any of it in the fridge until you're done. I hope you enjoy it, guys. Uh, Boston's got to carry on walking right now. I've got to burn that off, and I'll see you next time.